Hello guys and welcome back to Income Stream Surfers. It feels good to say that again. It's been almost two weeks since I made a video and yeah, I had a really, really good Christmas. Um, thanks for the huge amount of support over Christmas. If you don't know, one of my videos completely blew up and yeah, that felt amazing. It's the first time that's actually happened. Let's talk about chat GPT in this video and oh my God, is this tool this tool is a mind blower, okay? It's currently free. You can just go to uh, chat.openai.com slash chat. You can make an account. I don't think there's any limitations because I think it's in public uh, beta, but I'm not actually 100% sure if anyone can use it or whatever it might be. But what I have discovered or just generally just using this tool, it, it's unbelievable. One of the best things about this tool is that it remembers what user has said earlier in the conversation. What does that mean? It means if you have a long conversation with this AI, it will learn the kind of content that you want. So what am I gonna do in this video? I'm gonna talk about a couple of use cases that I have found so far for this amazing tool. The best use case that I've currently found is uh, for SEO, okay? Obviously I'm a professional SEO, so I do mainly wanna be focusing on SEO in this video, blog writing, et cetera, et cetera. So how can we use this tool? What I want you to do is I want you to think of a blog post topic. I'm gonna to use one that I actually wrote earlier using this tool. So this is a real life example. I wrote an, uh, an entire article, the rise of uh, wearing a suit with sneakers, okay? Obviously all of the images are from the company I work for, et cetera, et cetera. But every single word on this article was written by ChatGPT, which is completely insane. And I was having so much fun with this tool earlier. So let's just very quickly go here. I wanna check something. So first of all, you can see that, yeah, um, the, th this website that I'm growing, it's going really, really well. I'm making the majority of the content using uh, ChatGPT, to be honest with you. The article I wrote a few hours ago is on Google. This means that you find the URL on Google. Okay, that's what this means in Italian. The reason it's in Italian is obviously because I live in Italy, as some of you may know, some of you may not know. Okay, so how did I actually do this? What the first thing I did was I found the topic, okay? Finding blog post topics, I'm not really gonna be talking about that in this video, but I did actually find it by just using uh, chat GPT. What I did was I wrote, um, give me some blog post ideas for classic menswear sartorial fashion. And I pressed enter. And it happened to be that one of them was um, exactly that, okay? One of them was uh, the rise of the sneakers suit or the sneaker with suit, pairing sneakers with a suit. Okay, so I took that and what I did was I ran with it. So it gave me this exact title here, the rise of the sneaker suit, discussing the trend of pairing suits with sneakers. And I just decided to go with it. And what I did was I wrote, write me a blog introduction for the topic. I find it best to put the topic in quotation marks like this. What you may see, is the exact same content. Fortunately, it's not actually the exact same content, okay? So this time, perfectly, it's not the exact same content, which is a perfect example, okay? So you can see the content is actually really good. The content is also really good here. You can, I'll leave a link to this article in the comments, so feel free to go over to uh, the article in, sorry, in the description and check it out. Okay, so now let's just write an entire blog post right now. Let's see how quickly we can do it while I'm recording. So we're gonna do a new blog post and the blog post is gonna be the same uh, title and things. I would recommend putting into a Word document, but before you put it into a Word document, it's worth running it through something like Notepad. The reason that you wanna do that is because the formatting is a little bit strange, just like all of these tools. You can put it in um, in um, WordPad first, or you can just right click and uh, paste without formatting is another option. But I prefer to put it, put it in Notepad, don't ask me why. Okay, so what we can do now is we can uh, continue with the same theme, so the rise of 
uh, sneaker suit discussing the trend of pairing sneakers uh, suits with sneakers and we can write write a blog outline for and we'll just hit control V and press enter so this should now give me a um, interesting this is very interesting look at that there's no way it's this good so yeah, this tool is better than Jasper, which costs like infinitely more because this is <laughs> this is free. I forgot to say this is free. I can't believe this is free. So what you would do is you would do the exact same thing, paste without formatting. You can put the introduction like this in heading two. I don't really like the layout of this, to be honest with you. Um, I probably wouldn't do it like this, but just for the sake of this video, I'll, I'll probably leave it like this. What I would actually do is I would do how I did it here. So what, in fact, you know what? Let's not, let's do write a blog outline. Uh, I, I just doxed myself, I think. Write a blog outline for, uh, no, in bullet points for, and then we'll hit enter again. Again, it's giving us this weird introduction thing. I don't know why it's doing that, but yeah. <laughs> Whatever. We can just get rid of this like that, and we can just take this as uh, a load of bullet points as well. Like that, okay? So this would now be the outline of the article. You can see that we, you know, we're already getting to a decently sized article. Then what I would do is I would put this as a heading this is exactly what I did earlier. And remember, I just showed you this article is already on Google. Okay. And also a lot of these arts, a lot of these articles were written by uh, chat GPT. Okay. This was written by chat GPT. This was half written by chat chat GPT, not fully. This was written by chat GPT. Uh, all of the collections, all of this kind of stuff was written by chat GPT. We're probably for the business that I'm working for, we're probably going to be moving over from using um, Jasper to using ChatGPT for product descriptions as well. So I'm not just me. I'm not just talking out of nowhere here. I have experience using this tool, and I do really think it's very good. So definition of that. So write a blog post paragraph four, and because it remembers all of this content up here, it knows exactly what I wanted to do. Okay which is the beautiful thing about this tool. It takes the information that we've already written and it continues that information, okay? So you can see we're really, really starting to get a good article together. So what we would do is we would do this for every single um, one of these titles. So we'll do it again, write a blog post paragraph four. I'm not even bothering to read the content because I know that it's uh, probably gonna be pretty accurate. Okay, so this is a good example. You can see the overview of the trends rise in popularity. There is no mention of suits and sneakers in this um, instruction, but because it's reading from this content, it knows that I, I am specifically talking about the suit and sneakers trend. Okay, so that's the really, really nice thing about this tool. And yeah, I, I honestly think this is an absolute game changer. I know that I talk about game changers a lot on this channel, but this is just another one of those beautiful game changers. So once we have this, let's just pretend I've done all of these, okay? I'm not gonna bother doing that right now. The final part of this, well, there are a couple more parts. I may as well talk about everything in detail. So the first thing you would do is you would give these H2, okay? Which means header two, and you would look for certain words like suit, you press Control K and you put a link, okay? H-A-T-T-P-S, two men dot it, slash collections, slash suits. This is now an internal link. And the point of this is it gives juice, okay? It gives power to this page, which is obviously what we call a money page for our business. So we want as many people as possible to find this page. So by writing blog posts and giving this page good SEO, and then internally linking from those blog posts to those collections. That's how we start to use ChatGPT to give power to the entire website 
instead of just to these pages. That's the whole point of this process. That's why I love writing content. It's not just to bring in random traffic for people who are looking for sneakers and suit you know, information because they probably already have sneakers, they probably already have a suit, right? But it's to give power and juice to the other pages as this page rises, okay? That's how it works. That's how I've managed in such a short amount of time. You can see this is the 13th of October to go already to 1.3 thousand impressions, okay, a day. That's how I'm doing it. I'm just writing very, very simple articles and giving juice from the articles to the other pages. So that's the first part. The second part that we would want to do is um, we want to go on Google and just type in sneaker suit, okay, like this. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to click this first one a few times, like this. This is going to look a bit weird, but just trust me. <laughs> Okay, and then we want to use ChatGPT again. This is the absolutely insane part, okay? This is going to be quite complicated, but on Shopify, you can't see this uh, here because I don't, I'm not logged into the Shopify uh, at home. I can't really show you properly, but these here, FAQ about suit with sneakers, okay? What we're going to be doing is we're going to be using something really, really cool. So. Um, write an FAQ with HTML schema for the following questions. And then you can literally, oh crap, I pressed enter. No, come back. Okay. Uh, for the following questions, edit, you need to press shift enter and then um, I'm going to press control V and then save and submit. Watch this. Yeah. Yeah, you're seeing that correctly. This is literally create. I don't know. I don't think this is a uh, proper schema. Okay, so when you inspect the page, for example, there is no FAQ schema here, but this does not damage SEO at all. This is really, really, really good for SEO. It would be better if it was actual schema. Okay, like I said, it's not actual schema. I don't think anyway, because it doesn't appear here. So if I go on another one of my articles, uh, the beach wedding attire for men, it should say FAQ schema or schema at the bottom here. Yeah, you can see demanda frequente FAQ, which means, yeah, frequently asked questions. But this is still really, really good for SEO, what this tool is doing right now, okay? What you should do as well at the top when you're starting this, I should have said, is you should put your brands here, okay? So you should say, like, um, I want you to write about the following brands. Uh, at the very, very top, okay? So then when it writes something like this, it mentions the brands that you're actually selling instead of random brands like Air Jordans, uh, etc., which obviously we don't sell Air Jordans, so it'd be kind of pointless. But why have I told this to give this in HTML? That doesn't make any sense, right? You'd expect me to want this in raw text. But actually, it's better to have it in uh, HTML. Let me just show you one more thing. If you press, if you write continue and then just press enter, it will just continue. Um, let me go on a Shopify store that's not actually the Shopify store that I work for. These are just my random Shopify store accounts, which I use for testing. And also if you look at my, um, my YouTube channel, I do have a lot of Shopify tutorial videos. So that's why I have these stores. Okay, my keyboard has died. I tried to pause the video there, but it didn't work because my keyboard's died. So we go on blog posts. There we go, it's back. And we create a blog post. What I'm gonna do, this is sometimes bugged out, so I have to wait for it to let me click show HTML. So while that's doing that, let's have a little look at what it's created. So if I put this into an HTML showing tool, Let's go up to here. Uh, HTML show W3. I think it's called testing. HTML, try it yourself, here we go. So if I run this, you'll see that it it's just perfect HTML, it's just perfect. Just look at it, it's honestly just perfect. So show HTML, click here, and then show off HTML, bang. It's that quick, guys. Honestly, it's just insane. Such an easy way to make a lot of content, okay? Frequently asked questions, even if they're not schema, they are very, very good for SEO, okay? 
So we'll add this to the bottom of this article, even though it's not really like, it's not proper, if that makes sense. So we answered all those questions. Let's say we answered all those questions. And then at the bottom, you just take information from here. Another thing you can do actually is you can use keyword tool.io and uh, you can search uh, suit and sneakers or suit sneakers. And this will do the same thing, I'm pretty sure. If I click on uh, questions, this should do the same thing. Yeah. You can see these are pretty much going to be the same as this. So you can just do the same thing. You can click these, copy them. So like this, click, 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 or just click them all, but probably not all of them. So click, 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 copy, and then you just do the same thing. Okay. It's that simple. It's this tool is absolutely insane. I'm going to have a lot more videos on this. I just really wanted to get this video out because I wanted to show people how you can very easily write long form blog posts using chat GPT. And the most beautiful thing, of course, is that you can already find this URL on Google, which honestly, I didn't expect that to be the case so quickly. It's actually pretty insane that it took um, not just this article, but I believe the other article that I wrote. Yeah, so I wrote another one, the best European uh, luxury designer brands for men. Did I write for men? Yeah, for men, good. Um, this is also a Shopify plugin. It's free and it gives you a table of contents. I did make a video about that. So you'll have to look through my videos if you're wondering how I did this. But if I click on Brunello Cuccinelli, it takes me, for example, straight to Brunello Cuccinelli. And guess what? This article is also already on Google, even though it had some mobile uh, usability problems, which you can see here. La pagina non è usabile, usabile su dispositivo mobile. This isn't uh, really optimized for mobile. I did try to fix it, but yeah. At the end of the day, it's already put it on Google, so I'm not really that bothered. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. That's how you can abuse chat GPT to write insanely quick blog posts. Okay, so that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support recently. I hope this helps a lot of people make some content and yeah, there's no affiliate link. There's nothing. It's just free content as usual. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps and peace out.